Okay. Hello, this is Extreme Darian, and I'm finally getting around to that tutorial for this video that I promised everybody. Um, now, the big deal, of course, here is this, the 360 degree camera rotation. And a lot of people think this is a matrix effect. It's not really intended to be, though I guess you could use it that way if you just wanted to stand really still. But it's actually intended to simulate a um, camera move around an actor, because I'm moving in real time. Um, uh, it seems like I should give you an idea up front of what you'll need to do this effect. So here is a little list. Um, these are just my recommendations. They're all negotiable to a certain extent. Uh, what I mean by that is um, I recommend a digital video camera that can shoot at least 640 by 480 resolution at at least 24 frames per second. Um, you can probably get away with lower resolution or frames per second. It's all a matter of what you think looks good and um, what you can key, but anyway. And I use Adobe After Effects 7 Professional. Um, obviously newer will work. Probably some older versions will work too, I don't know, you'll just have to try and find out. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be using any of the professional specific effects, but if you're thinking of buying After Effects, absolutely get professional, you'll want those effects sooner or later. And you'll need some green screen, at least 1.5 by 2.5 meters, or other keyable background, we'll talk about that at the time, and a swiveling piano stool or music stool or something else that rotates that you can sit on. Um, you'll understand that later. Yeah. So, yeah, the first thing we need to do to do this is to build this stage that you see here and can in fact see more of since this is the uncropped version. So, uh, first thing we need to do is create a new composition. And all I have to say about this is this is a preset for my camera. You can set it to whatever suits your needs, but um, make it what you need it to be from the beginning, because if you try and change any of this afterwards, you'll run into problems with the 3D stage. So, and uh, then we need a new camera, because uh, the 3D camera navigation tools won't work with the default camera. So, uh, work camera, because we're not going to be using this to film, we're just going to be using it to see the stage. Um, 35 millimeter preset, and uh, we want to go in, transform, auto orient, and turn it off. Um, may not be the best way, but that's the way I do it. It's easier. Um, and you'll run into problems navigating around your scene if you don't turn it off. Um, now, what we need is our first um, texture, or whatever you want to call them. And this is actually a blow up of a very small file. You can see because it looks terrible. Um, it was originally about 100 by 100. Now it's uh, 1224 by 1224. Um, just drag it out there from this. That works. Um, and uh, the reason I did that, you'll see later. But if you need a, if you have a picture that's um, set up for tiling like this, um, and you need to increase the size, just make it 1224 by 1224 composition. Uh, come down here, scale it up, then uh, save frame as, not a big deal. But anyway, so we need to make this a 3D layer. We click this little box here, like that. If you don't see that there, um, if yours looks like this, don't panic, just press F4. I'll close back and peek forth between those things. And uh, we're going to move this into the distance a little, and we move by just Clicking these, make sure you got that. Um, and I want to move it back in Z space, so we click on until it says little Z there, then to the left. And we also need to rotate it, so we uh, click the rotate tool up here, and it's the same thing except you um, click and it'll rotate. And we need to rotate in the uh, X axis like this. And we need it to be totally flat, so if you hold down shift, it will snap to be the being straight up and down on the diagonal or flat, so that's perfect. And uh, need to move it down a little bit. And now what we're going to do is switch into a two view, so we can see from uh, our work camera. Um, actually, that isn't the work camera yet. But now it is. <laughs> now we can actually use the movement tools when we want them. Um, 
And uh, the second one defaults to top, which is good because that's what we want. And uh, if you hold down space, you can move around here. Um, and this is actually our layer, but can't see it because it's a terrible default color. Change it to that, that's much better. Um, it's flat, here's the camera looking. Um, it's just a top view, um, but unshaded. So uh, now we should really rename this. This is going to be our main floor. Because we're going to be using the same textures, textures for different things, so we don't want to get confused. Um, and we want to scale it up. But it's not really looking like a floor much yet, is it? You need to zoom out here. Press, you can zoom in by holding Z, left clicking, zoom out, hold Z and Alt. So zoom out like that. Left mouse button, Z and Alt. And uh, scaled up, but it's really not looking like a floor yet. So what we need to do is come over here to stylize, or up here to style eyes, wherever. And motion tile, drag it onto the layer. And uh, now, tile width, move that down. And, uh, see what's happening? It's perfect, or close to it anyway. Um, and uh, this is the reason why you need to scale up the image if it's a 100 by 100 um, image and you tiled it like this, it would be blurry. So just need to do it to make the program work. Um, so now we be nice to be able to look around at this a better angle. So you can either uh, use the C key, the C key. Um, first you'll get this, which is your rotate. First again, you'll get this, which is your uh, pan back and forth. Or this, which is your dolly in and out. Different from zoom, we zoom over here, we dolly in and out here. It's a little confusing, but who cares? Um, so now we need another one of these floor pieces for the top of our stage. Now I'm going to click Control D nah, too many times, or you could just come up here to edit, duplicate. Either one duplicates, and this is going to be our stage floor. Now. I'm going to switch this to a um, left view and move up our stage floor. Let's see, it's raised up a little bit. And uh, actually, go back to the top view and scale that down a little bit. Let's move it over here. Yeah. Now um, we have uh, the top of our stage and our floor. And we need a front of the stage now. So I'm going to use my second texture. It's actually just a photograph, about five square inches of a wall I took. Um, but it works really well for a lot of things. Change it to gold so we can see it. And uh, here's the the most irritating part of 3D modeling with um, After Effects lining all these two-dimensional layers up. Need to move this down. And, uh, yeah. Just line it up as best you can. This, there's no really good way to do it. Grab these. Um, Actually, the scale only sometimes works there. You need to scale it in a little bit. Use the X, Y, Z. And let's line it up. Um, be as picky as you want. Don't let it take up your entire time here, though, because it could. And move it forward a little bit. And I'm going to say that that is good enough. So, ah, there I go. I'm using zoom when I should be using dolly. Don't let that confuse you, because it confuses me. Okay. With that, we have the start of our stage, and I'm just about out of time. So, I'll see you in the next segment.